will be in purple. The Pirate coached by Bruce Lilly. The Bombers coached by Bill Couser, Danny Couser, and Rich Mihal. And Vic Fiano again will work the game. Nice to see Charlie White. He's loves soccer down here. You'll see, oh, Mr. Matrician. Mark just came in. Nice to see him all the time. One of my golfing buddies from the last summer in a league that I played in. And we're under A. Bethany Mihal gets it going. Hard kick. Oh, good shot by Ben Couser. And uh, good job by Matrician, I think, to kick it out of there. Another shot. They test him immediately. Bethany Mihal. So this one looks like it's going to be wide open. Coming up the other way is Stephen Lilly. Working with that's Claire Basescu. Working hard on the boards. Jillian Schwartz, number seven, number nine. Taylor Sellurell. I tell you, number four. Alex, uh, excuse me, in the brown, number four, Bethany Mihal. And here's another hard shot put up by Kuzier, and this one goes out of play. They are in the brown. And the power in purple, and the power will lay it down. And up in the attack positions, you've got Caitlin Hamo. And trying to get to it now comes Claire Basescu, but bumped off of it by Ben Couser. Back after, that's Pete Mas Massioli. Far side, Taylor Sellurell tries to feed it through. There's a hard shot, and Couser with it. Massioli smothers it nicely and out of play. In purple, number eight, I think it is Augustini. Three is Massioli. And now they'll lay it down, give it to Joseph Cummings, and we'll get a corner kick out of this one. So laying it down is Couser. He gets ready, pulls the trigger. Oh, just through the goal mouth. Going back after it now. That's Taylor Sellurell. Right there, Jillian Schwartz. They're working hard. Joey Cummings trying to clear it out. With 3.40 to go, they move it up and into the attack zone, coming with it. That's Claire Basescu. And a shot and a score. Good job there. I think it was number three. Pete Massioli banged it home. one nothing in favor of the team in purple. 3.16 to go. Let's move it out, and there's number three again. Pete trying to get to it. Here's Kuzer, hard angle. Just missed the goal, but a good, strong shot to the left of Matrician. They poke it out in front and fanning on it, trying to get to it. That's Taylor Sellurell. Coming up the far side. It's loose. Ben Couser running the show. Comes up the middle, moving. Firing. Ball smothered. Gets it out in front and oh, just. Missing was Taylor Salurel to the short side. Taylor with it, far side, Jillian Schwartz. And a good effort, Bethany Mihal out in front. And they hit the deck. All the action right in front of Kevin Matrician. Two minutes and seven seconds to go in this opening quarter. Kuzer will lay it down. Kuzer fires, and it's deflected in. I think we'll give the goal to Kuzer. Looked like it would deflect it in, wasn't it, Jerry? Off a defender, so we'll double-check with that. Minute 44 to go. And the power laying it down. Nice play here. Kuzer bangs it straight up ahead. 
Loose to the corner. Team in purple trying to come with it. Digging hard after it. Steven Lilly. It's loose. Lilly keeps it alive. Gets it out here now to Claire Bisescu. Bisescu bumped off of it. Good play by Bethany Mihal. Masioli trying to clear and keep it in play at the one minute mark. Coming down and a shot teed up. We got an injured player at the 52 second mark. Forty-three seconds, they'll stop the clock. Young lady hitting the deck, I believe. to the action now. Coming up with it. Trying to clear. Ball is loose. And cleared out nicely by Ben Couser. And we got a number three out there we're going to have to check with Mr. Couser. Lay it down with 20 seconds to go. The hard shot from Couser. No. Trying to keep it alive. Still loose. Good work by Pete Massioli with eight seconds to go. Still trying to keep the pressure on. Loose out in front. This one just goes past Taylor Sellerell at the horn. We'll be right back. Life is the ride, not the destination. With that clarification, as we start now the second quarter, Cody Cavini, Cavini moves it up. Still loose, and good job by Schaefer to clear. Out there now, Vincent Augustini. We're in number eight. Trying to get it out of there is Trey Phyllis, number 13. Ben Couser, who got the goal, working hard after it. Tries to get it, and the young Augustini girl is out there. She normally would be wearing 10, but she doesn't have a number today. That's Christina. Minute into the second quarter. Ball cleared. I think this is Matrician walking in. He stops. And a nice shot on goal. So Matrician will be in goal the first and third. Stephen Lilly is now in goal in the second. It's right out in front. And trying to get to it. Good job here as the power in purple. Brown team attacking and clear. Nice job there by Cody Schaefer. Schaefer, Trey Phillips back here on defense. Well, I'll tell you, some of the numbers hard to read. I think that's Sarah Suspensky. Her number just sort of curled up on her in the back there, number two. But Sean Bosk uh, Boscovich, Sarah Suspensky, Cody Schaefer, Bethany Mihal, Eric Blaschek, Brianna Mihal are some of the team members, along with Jillian Schwartz. There's one out in front. It's loose and cleared. Kevin Matrician trying to come up. 1-1 one, one game. Here's a strong shot. And the left-footed shot from out front. And a nice save. Purple team attacking. Trying to see who we got in goal here. And good job as they keep it away. Good defensive by the goalie and a fine effort also by Trey Phillips. And moving it up is Ben Couser. 
Hoosier moves it straight through to Bethany Mehal. 3.02 to go. Trying to get to it. Number five, Danny Hoke. Slew side in front. Coming here with it now is Pete Mascioli. Cleared. Nice job by Cody Schaefer. They bang it ahead with Matrician. It's coming towards the middle. And a good strong shot there by Pete Mascioli. Far corner, Vincent Augustini trying to clear. Out in front, nice job again by Trey Phillips to clear it with 2.20 to go. He moves it up ahead. As we approach the two-minute mark, taken back by Cooser on a break. Oh, nice dribbling. Comes right up the middle to the foul line and moves it down. It's poked out of there. Nice job. I think it was Danny Hope who got to it and poked it clear. Bethany Mihaw trying to get there. And this one gets Mr. Cooser right in the face. There goes Ben Couser moving it up the floor. And in that far corner, number eight, Vincent Augustini. With 125 to go. Nice forward pass here by Corey. Gets it out in front and a nice save by Stephen Lilly. Move it up here now. Coming with his feet, Massioli. Here's Phillips, Phyllis in the corner. Cooser with a hard, strong kick just wide. Trying to close on it. That's Sarah Suspensky, bumped off of it by Alex Fordyce. Trying to streak and get to it is Danny Hoke. And it's out in front. Good job here. By the team in Brown, Cody Schaefer to clear. They move it around, strong kick. Ben Couser gets it up, passed. Christina Augustini, there's a shot and good play by Stephen Lilly, who's in goal with 24 seconds to go. There's one from out in front, trying to get to it is Matrician and he got under it. Tried to ram it home, Kevin got under it just a little bit with 10 seconds to go. Maybe, maybe time for one rush. Cooser doing self. Corners it off the boards. And that'll do it. 1-1 one, one as we go to halftime. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry DuPay and South Union Township Sports Network coverage from the rec center. Continue. We are underway. And in goal will be Cody Schaefer for the Bombers. And I think... Patrician back in goal for the power. So out in front, it's loose and a nice diving play there by Kevin Matrician as he moves it out. Far side, Eric Blaschek back with it now. Taylor Sellurel. They're in the brown. Alex Cavaney, number 11. We did get the correct pronunciation. It is Cavaney. We did talk to Alex on that one. So, coming up the other way. Purple team, trying to clear. With it now, that's Cavaney. Good job by Mascioli, and we did get the pronunciation. That's Pete Mascioli who got the goal. Pete with the goal, it's not Mascioli, it's Mascioli. So we're glad to make that correct. Nice save by Matrician on the shot off the foot of Bethany Mihal. 1-1 one, one your score. They work it up the far side. Coming after it, shoe flies off. And Jay Bendishaw, I believe, lost the shoe, and this one is deflected in. So, Deflected 
intended goal in. Makes it two to one, and it have to review to see the last person to touch it. There's the shot on goal. Nice save by Cody Schaefer. Mascholi battling for it. Trying to move it up. Here they come. Hard shot. A nice save by Matrician once, twice. Nice save by Matrician on two big shots. Ben Couser was right there. And two nice saves by Matrician from point blank range. And I tell you, Couser did everything but put it in the net. Good job by Mascholi at the 340 mark. We're in the third period. Our next game of this triple header will feature a couple of girls teams. And then Wednesday night, we'll have a double header with two of the girls teams. So here we go. Through the legs and running it up the far board. Moving it up in, and a nice save there. Good job. In goal by Cody Schaefer. It's loose. Out in front and coming out with it. Here comes Ben Couser. Couser trying to advance it. Bumped off of it. Nice play by Jade Bendishaw. Good play here by Dylan Kravoski. Coming in. Ball deflected out in front. Banging it. Oh, what a play by Matrician twice. Doing a bang up job. I'll tell you right now, right in front, Eric Blaschek trying to get the goal home. Couldn't. It's loose again. Trying to clear. Comes straight to number one and Stephen Lilly. He'll clear out as Hope. Or Blaschek, rather, moves it up. Coming after it. That's number five in Brown, Eric Blaschek. Here's a shot and a save. Here comes Couser. Look out. He's in free. Oh, he just misfired. He had some net to work with and try to go to the wide side. Nice play here by Mascholi. It's loose and another save by Matrician. He launches it up near midfield or midcourt, and here comes team in Brown one more time and another save. I tell you, they're testing Matrician, and so far he's been equal to the task. Here's Stephen Lilly. Mascholi to the right side, off the board. Banged out of there by Jillian Swartz. Good work, Jillian. Good work, Taylor Sellurel. Here's a shot. No. Good try here by Stephen Lilly. It's loose out in front. Lilly lost it. Coming the other way. I think it's Alex Cavaney. And no. Good play here by Pete Mascholi to advance it. Score two to one. In favor of the team in Brown. That's the Bombers. They try to advance. Mascholi intercepts. Mascholi goes for the shot and it's cleared out of there. Good defensive job to poke it clear, but right back after it comes Stephen Lilly. Loose and no. Coming up the far sideline with 22 seconds to go. Good work here by Jade Bendishaw. Back here after it now. Here comes Claire Basescu with 14 seconds to go. They have time for maybe one more rush. It's loose out in front and a big shot. Booming shot by Ben Couser goes above the bar. He was well positioned and well set up, and that'll do it. We've come to the end of the third quarter, and South Indian Township Sports Network coverage continues with the score two to one in favor of. Gets the kick under, gets the quarter underway, and team in Brown. I think I might have said the power up. Actually, the Brown is up two to one. The Brown Bombers, or the Bombers, I guess we call them. Coming up the other way, shot is smothered by Augustini in the corner. Trying to get that insurance goal, and they have stayed with Matrician. Caitlin Hamo on a 
break up the left side. Chases it down to the corner. And this one is poked out. And Ben Couser will try and go up the boards, but didn't. Stephen Lilly, Joseph Cummings, Pete Mascholi, Alex Fordyce, Danny Hope, Caitlin, Homo, uh, Caitlin Hamo, Kevin Matrician, Vincent Augustini, Jade Bendishaw, Christina Augustini, Dylan Kravoski, and Claire Basescu. There's a shot and a good save in goal. I'm thinking it might be Cody Schaefer still out there in goal. We'll look for uh, number two out there. Okay, walking in. Oh, nice job by Bethany Mehal to clear it out. Mascholi keeps it alive, and we're down to 4.30 and counting. Bombers under eight. They're in the brown, coached by Bill Couser, Danny Couser, and Rich Mehal. Sean Boscovich, uh, Sarah Suspensky, Cody Schaefer, Bethany Mehal, Eric Blaschek, Brianna Mehal, Jillian Schwartz, Corey uh, Cavini, Cavani rather, Taylor Sellurel, Ben Couser, Alex Cavani, Jerrica Pickens, Trey Phyllis, and Cody Schaefer. And as the ball breaks up to Stephen Lilly, number one. Walks in. Oh. Good job that time by your goalie. Now, I think it's Cody Schaefer. I'm looking to see if I see a number number two out there. Walking it in. Still loose with 3.35 to go. Goal scored by Kuzer and a deflection in off of a defender. Credited to the Bombers and the one goal on the other side was by Mascholi. Strong shot. Deflects and a good play here by Matrician, his mom and dad over here to my left. Number 10, Ben Couser's had a strong day. Look out right here. Troll trying to poke it home, but he couldn't. Here comes Couser, gets it past Augustini. She'll run it down in the corner. Moves it out, walking in, and a good clear. And I think, again, that's Cody Schaefer. I'm not real sure. Trying to work hard with 2.38 to go and trying to hang on to that 2-1 lead. They're moving it up. It's loose. Mascholi tries to get it through, and Couser will clear very nicely. And here comes Matrician out. Good effort that time by Jillian Schwartz to get back. Here's Jillian trying to move it up ahead. And coming out of there is Sarah Suspensky, who was just in there. Good work, Couser. Alex Cavani working real well with it. Get it back now to Stephen Lilly with two minutes to go. Lilly feathers it through, and a good clear by Trey Phyllis. It's loose and deflected. Oh, nice save. And I still think that's uh, Cody Schaefer. I don't see a number two out there. But I tell you, I think it was Stephen Lilly had the deflection. Minute 36, minute 35 to go. Going after it is Mascholi. It's loose. Uh-oh, look out. Mascholi tees it up, and... Nice job there by Ben Couser to clear. Down to a tw minute 20 and counting. Loose, good work there by Christina Augustini. Good movement by Stephen Lilly, and we're down to a minute. So the Bombers just want to keep pressure on and keep that ball in the other end. And, of course, Mascholi and his ball club will try and attack. This one goes into the boards. Good work here by Couser trying to keep it alive. Couser and uh, Cavani. Down to 38 seconds. This is where they want it. They want to keep the pressure on, keep the ball tied up in the corner. Good work here by number seven, Jillian Schwartz, and she's keeping it there. Augustini boots it back, but 
Uh oh, look out. Here's Mascholi closing, and a nice job there by Bethany Mihaw, and a nice job by Kuzer, and a nice job by Alex Cavani with 17 seconds. Boy, this is big. This gets it way down in that corner, and they can just tie, try and tie it up there. Nine, eight seconds to go, and it's going to be doubtful that they can come the length of the floor, and now they won't as the ball is kept uh, in play, and that, my friends, will do it. 2-1 your final score. Bombers win it over the power. Stay tuned. A girls game coming up, our third game at South Union Township's